Well, hello there. It's that time again. Yes, it is. It's actually a little early. It is time for our weekly tarot and astrology blog. I'm doing it a day early here on October 9th, a uh, lovely Saturday evening. Uh, I know I'm going to be busy tomorrow, so I want to make sure I took care of this because I do want you to have this information. As usual, I'm going to go over some Tarot de Marcy tarot, uh, tarot cards that I picked at random for our upcoming week. And then we're going to take a look at some astrology, which, as always, turns out to be quite interesting. So please stay tuned. Okay, in a moment, three Tarot de Marcy trump cards are going to come onto the screen and cover my face. The cards I drew for this week's reading from the CBD Tarot are the Pope, the Sun, and the Star. Oh, what a lovely spread. Here we have the Pope blessing two people, making this hand blessing gesture as he is looking towards the right at the Sun. The Sun is beaming down energy upon these two children who are affectionately touching one another. Then we see the Lady of the Star with the stars above her head, naked, pouring two cups into the water before her. One on the ground, one on the water, however you want to say it, as she is looking at the two children. So perhaps we could say that this week we will be blessed as we reconcile or work with another person and that union will be strengthened as we pour out negativity, resentments, anything that is getting in our way. This could also apply to perhaps a project. Okay, We could see the coupling, the two people in the Pope's card, the two children in the Sun card, as union with something that we are trying to unite with, something that we have found to be resistant, but then we just simply realize that we can let go of that resistance and just let it flow. And things will just naturally and beautifully work as we do that. Okay, now getting on to the astrology, uh, tomorrow is going to be, I think, a pretty good day. Uh, we are in a waxing moon. We had the new moon just the other night uh, on Wednesday. And now we're at a point of where the energy is increasing. It's a time for manifesting, for drawing things to us that we need to have and want to have. Tomorrow the moon is making good aspects, really nice aspects, with virtually all of the planets except for Venus. Okay, Most of the seven planets are in a beneficial aspect with the moon. This is a great day for doing any kind of magic or ritual, uh, prayers, visualization that you might care to do. Uh, the next good day for this too would be Thursday. Again, a lot of good aspects, lunar aspects that day, uh, and nothing really negative. So these would be very, very good days. But the best day coming up is next Sunday, the 17th, the end of Mercury retrograde. Yay! No more of that. No more fuzz, no more glitches, no more communication issues. You're free to sign contracts, make long-term commitments as you need. A lot of energy will clear up as Mercury goes direct. So all in all, this is a good reading. This is one of the better ones I've been able to give in a while. And a good week astrologically overall. Yay! Well, there you go. There is your weekly tarot and astrology reading. Thank you for tuning in to watch it. I appreciate your support. Till I see you next week, many Many blessings.